How's it going everybody and welcome back to some more Super Mario Maker 2 Story Mode. So we have a couple of regular jobs to complete after last time doing a whole bunch of side jobs. Not even just last time, the last two episodes have featured mostly side jobs from the characters around the plaza that you would see in the core spot like the Undo Dog, uh, Patrick the Random Brick Block. <laughs> I guess, and Mr. Eraser. And there's also a mysterious vine over to the right in the, you know, courtyard area, but we'll deal with that another time. For now, we're going to be doing the regular jobs here from the Taskmaster, starting with Tunnel to the Dark Side of the Moon, two-star difficulty, 150 coins for the reward. I think I tunneled all the way to the other side of the moon, because everything is upside down there, it's pretty neat, but kind of disorienting. If you want to slide down a pipe, you gotta tilt left stick up from the mischievous mole. Hmm, would that be the mischievous mole from, or uh, the mole boss, I should say, from Super Mario Galaxy? Hmm, maybe. Let's go ahead, and we will have fun, Taskmaster. Thank you for not calling me Big Red. I do appreciate it. As always, five lives, and here we go. It's time for the upside-down mechanic. Well, in a moment, because we have to make our way through the stage first. So, a new addition to Super Mario Maker 2 in the course builder. If you have an underground section at nighttime, then you can make gravity appear upside down, and it's actually really, really cool. All of the course mechanics for... Uh, the nighttime themes I really, really like for all of these stages, and uh, all, all the course themes, I should say. And they're really, really cool. I do like the addition of those. They're, they're really nice. Alright, so we're going to be making our way through here. You, Mr. Beetle, how... Oh, I think I would need to use you to hit that? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, we can't go this way, so we're going to have to go back into the main world through the pipe. And we're going to have to go through the stage here. What I really love... Oh, it's to get this 10 coin if I bring a beetle all the way here. Okay. Uh, what I really, really love uh, about the whole uh, upside-down subworld stages like these is that they're always like an exact mirror of each other. And then... Actually, can I just... Can I do some fun things here? Actually, I can. Ooh. Okay. I can make my way through the door. Oh, and this is the ending, actually. Uh, but, like I said, I really, really love how, especially in this stage, everything in the main world and the subworld is mirrored of each other. Of course, you know, the underground being upside down is a little different. You know, it's kind of Stranger Things vibes going on, but still, it's really, really nice. 150 coin payment plus 25 coins collected throughout the stage equals a 175 output in total. And that is the first of four different main hall, second floor progress build. I don't really know how to phrase this. All right, let's move on to the next job, which is dry bone shell boating. I'm thinking of changing the look of my room to something like this. Visitors have to get over the lava by floating in a dry bone shell. Pretty hardcore, eh? From the Celebrity MC, two-star difficulty. Again, 150 coin payment. I'm down, let's go ahead and do this. And I, I had to jinx it by saying thank you for not calling me Big Red, because the next thing I the next thing I choose, you call me Big Red. Ah, oh, it's whatever. Alright, so we're gonna be using the dry bone shell, and I really, really love the dry bone shell. They're, like I said, all the mechanics that they introduced in this game are really, really cool. What isn't cool is me. Jumping when the lava wasn't high enough for me to actually even go there. I should have just trusted it. And I should have waited a little bit longer because now I have to wait again to make my way up here. Alright, so of course don't leave your dry bone shell in lava because you'll fry to bits. Uh, oh, I tried ducking down with the dry bone shell to play dead like I accidentally really showed off earlier. Uh, when dealing with the whole, you know, first part of the stage. No, Luigi, you can stop. Leave me alone. I don't want your Girl Scout cookies. Alright, let's make our way through here. 
This time, let's not fail. I should probably take things slowly, considering, you know, I've died twice already, and I don't want to die again. I'd really, really like to make my way through here, you know, not have to... Well, I did get a game over, so technically, that is false. I, that's false advertising if I say I don't want to get a game over. Alright, make our way through here, avoid the Potaboo, Lava Bubbles, whatever. They, they're Potaboo's one game and Lava Bubbles the next. It's like Birdo being a guy or a girl, depending on the game. Alright, let's make our way through here. We have... Oh, I'm not going down there, because I will get crushed. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's a pocket there, so I guess it's not for... In vain. I guess also there is... Uh, there is a pipe down there. Hmm. I wonder what's in the pipe, but who cares? We're just going to the axe. We're avoiding Bowser and his fireballs. And we're getting on out of here right in our fancy, fancy shell. Yeah, alright. Two stages down, not even ten minutes into the video. I'm actually liking this progress right now. Especially considering we're really, really close to being a quarter of the way done with overall progress on rebuilding the castle. That is what I like to see. Alright, Taskmaster, let's see what the next job is. Twisting through the desert sands. Hee hee hee! I cast a twister spell into the desert. If you press B as you enter the twister, you'll be thrown skyward. Those who master the tempest will reap great rewards. From a certain mage. Gee, the key he he isn't really all that suspicious. It's Kamek. It's meant to represent Kamek anyway. Two star, uh, two star difficulty with 150 coin payment. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so is it going to be nighttime desert? Or is it just going to be the twisters? Okay, it's just going to be the twisters. Okay, cool. I can deal with just twisters. If it was nighttime with the sand going back and forth with the uh, twisters, that would be uh, that'd be a little torturous. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have munchers to avoid too. Oh, this could get bad in a hurry. Okay. Let's just be very careful. All right. Use these. Use these. Oh, we're not gonna get that thirty coin. Yeah. Unfortunately, thirty coin will not be ours. This pipe is a little suspicious, but you know what? I'm liking the progress we've had. If I can just avoid subworlds and just make my way through all of this, like right now, I will be content. All right, let's make sure we stay on the twister. Of course, as soon as I said it, I ended up falling off the twister, but it's whatever. Let's just run across the fireworks and grab some five extra coins from completing the stage. Awesome. Alright, another 195 total coins. We are working our way back up on the coin count, and we only have one more job to complete until the second floor of the main hall is complete itself on the castle. And it, it's looking like it's going to be the No Jumping Allowed stage. In all caps, I would yell, but it's late when I'm recording, so I'm not going to. Here's a challenge. Try to get through this whole level without jumping off the ground and landing. Any takers? Anyone? There is a prize for anyone who succeeds. Here's a hint. Use a Y to dash. <laughs> From the Game Master. Hmm. Wonder who that could be. Reach the goal without landing after leaving the ground. Three star difficulty. 200 coin payment. Let's do it. This might eat up the rest of the video, but you know what? I think it'll be worth it. Oh, is it the one that I'm thinking of? Oh, please be the one I'm thinking of. Please be the ghost house one? Yes, I really, really love this one. So, obviously you can go on those claws if you wish, but that would ruin your goal and you would fail instantly. But this one is really, really cool. So for this room, you're gonna need to draw the booze over here, make sure all of the bullet bill blasters fall. And then what we need to do we need to activate this mole, who's going to hit the wall, carry us over this way. Oh, please, please go. <sighs> I should have moved more to the right. The boos are also chasing me. I really wanted to do this one in one shot. I'm upset now. All right, let's wait. Wow. it the The ghost there actually killed me. The ghost there never kills me. 
Now I'm just throwing. Luigi, stop it. Alright, I had to wait a little bit first. There we go. Now we're good. Alright, so we're going to be avoiding saws, these fire bars as well. Let's just make our way through to the next area and pretend that nothing just happened out of the ordinary. I can't believe I died to that ghost. I never died to that ghost. Alright, here we go. Let's make things a little more clear in terms... Yeah, that's it. That's the ticket. Get the mole to run this way. And now ourselves, we're going to wait patiently for this muncher and rocky wrench to fly up and down. And be careful here. Do not move. Let it fall back down. Let it make you touch the ground peacefully and head through the door. All right, so now for this, we're going to want to guide the boo over here. Make sure we have enough room to go under him. Like so. Alright, the 1-up's gonna go there, the muncher's gonna go there, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. All we need to do is make sure that we avoid the boo circles. I mean, we can get this 1-up, but, I mean, the 1-ups don't really matter in this, because you reset your lives with each level. If this was, like, regular Mario and the lives didn't reset, then that'd be fine, but it is what it is. Alright, let's blow up this bomb. I don't know... Oh, oh god, oh no, oh god, oh, oh god. Uh... Uh... What's gonna happen? Oh, did I screw up something? I hope I didn't just screw... Oh no, I need to move. Okay, move. I, I should have just went into the door, I don't know what I was thinking. I guess, oh yeah, because I think that bomb blows up the 30 coin and it makes you able to get it or something. Yeah, I think that's how that works. This area is the trickiest. Make sure the thwomp falls and avoid the donuts. Make sure they don't bounce you. And if you're quick enough, you can actually come over here and get this 10 coin. All right, awesome. Head down the pipe. And I believe we are almost at the end here. All right, so we have the big boo and the big cannon. We're going to use it to ride up. We have a coin trail here that can lead us upward. But don't go too high because uh, you can get stuck and fail. Alright, go this way a little bit. Alright, this should be good. Head this way. Lead me right to the middle of the goal. I could have maybe tried working to get the top of the flagpole. But honestly, it would have been more of a hassle than a necessity. So, yeah, I might as well just take what I can get. 200 coin payment, 32 extra coins from just gathering them in the stage, and that is the second floor of the main hall completed work. Awesome. 26% of the castle is now eligible to, uh, now eligible, now completed again. There we go, words. And all of the toads have some... Requests? This is a little weird. Anyway, uh, that block that Patrick put here on the second floor, we can go ahead and activate this. Blue Toad, what's the matter? Mario, we need some exclamation blocks to get to the East Hall from here, but... Psst, Mario, can you keep a secret? No, yes, I can keep a secret. Thanks, and good luck. Oh. Oh, it's the Toad Escort Missions! Oh, I love these. The purple toad who makes the exclamation blocks hasn't arrived yet. I'm pretty sure the chief got the airship schedule wrong. Management, am I right? Anyway, please bring the purple toad back here. This is a feature I really wish was available in regular course making, because having toad escort missions is my favorite part of the story mode. Reach the goal with one toad in tow, two star difficulty. Let's do it. So it's a new Super Mario Bros. U level. Okay, I don't think this is the one that I like the most. No, yeah, it's an airship one. Okay, so once we find our little toad friend, we will have to make sure that nothing bad happens to him. There he is. Oh, look how adorable he is. Also, it's a purple toad, yet they have a red toad as the icon. It's a little weird. Anyway, uh, let's make sure he doesn't get hit. If your uh, little toad friend does get hit, then uh, a bubble, he will bubble up and you will have to go chase after his bubble, which 
isn't too much of a big deal, but I'd rather not deal with it anyway. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Oh, don't get hit. Oh, God. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, wow. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. We did it. We got the purple toad back, and now we can have exclamation blocks that lead us over to the East Hall. And we also got 33 coins throughout the stage, so that's not bad either. And then he appears out of thin air. Purple toads are magical confirmed. And now Blue Toad has access across the way, and so do we by ground pounding the blocks. Awesome. Do you say anything different? Purple Toad made me some question mark, uh, exclamation blocks, question mark blocks, I'm so stupid. Apparently, Purple Toad got onto the wrong airship. I blame the chief, personally. When something goes wrong, it's usually management's fault. But you didn't hear me say that. Okay, I'm ready to start work on the rest of the East Hall. Talk to Chief when you're ready to put in the order. Ah, so I'm gonna need to talk to all of the Toads and do some escort missions before I'm able to do anything else, I see. Okay, well, let me grab more coins from here. Actually, do you say anything? Do you have any missions? Thanks for bringing me back. To think that I'd gotten on the enemy's airship by mistake. I haven't properly introduced myself. My name is Purple Toad. My parents weren't exactly creative types. I've whipped you up a couple of uh, exclamation blocks. Have fun. And I assume you will do the same for this side. Look at Green Toad. Green Toad's like, come on, man. Come on, man. I have some work to do. Come on. Get on with it. Come on. Talk to me. Let's go. I don't have all day. I only make nine bucks an hour. This is ridiculous. Oh, God, I'm making up my own lore. Anyway, let's return to the uh, base floor of the castle and the courtyard area. This isn't really much of a courtyard. It's just like a straight, narrow path this way. Anyway, what do you have to say now, Task uh, Chief Toadette? Main hall two floor is done. Main hall second floor is done. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna do the voice anymore. You can get to the second. I said I wasn't gonna do the voice, and then I did the voice by going into the door on the ground floor. This design is perfect, almost too perfect. We have new building options now. Well, the only one we technically have is the east hall second floor because I've done that escort toad mission. And I guess I'm going to have to do the other ones before we do anything else. So next time on Super Mario Maker 2 Story Mode, we will be doing the Red Toad and Green Toad <laughs> Escort missions. Toda has that mad face again. Oh god, I love it so much. And uh, we'll also check out what's finally over here on... The Yellow Toad's just sleeping. I j Yellow Toad, you are my spirit animal. And we will also check out what is here with the vine. You know what? Let's give a little teaser. Let's go up there now, actually. Wow, that's a long climb. Oh, there's some coins. Oh, yes. Give me all of these coins. Give me, give me, give me. Oh, my God. There's a 50 coin, too. Oh, yes. And there's a frog in the clouds. See you next time.